Hi, how you doing there, folks? This video I'm making is about New York. Now, as you know, in New York, on the Lower East Side, and many other neighborhoods, Tark Slope, the Upper East Side, Upper West Side, the East Village, there's beautiful buildings from the turn of the century. Brownstones. And, and when you're walking in these neighborhoods, it's like you're walking actually in way years back, you know, or you even feels like you're walking in in Montreal or in Toronto or in, or in an European city, you know, like like France or anything. Well, what's happening, folks? These buildings are slowly and slowly disappearing. These buildings are slowly and slowly disappearing, folks. Go on Orchard Street. Walk on Orchard Street between Grand and Hester, and on the side facing west, face, no, facing east, you're going to see all brand new condominium buildings, and the old Lower East Side tenements that were there have been pulled down. What's happening, folks, is little by little, these buildings are disappearing, and these turn of the century buildings should be protected and made landmarks, all of them, brownstones, all of them, and protected from from being torn down from development. Now as far as the hot spots for development, where development could happen, you got the MTA West Side Long Island Railroad Yards building over them. You got the Atlantic Yards project and that project should go through. That would, that would really revitalize downtown Brooklyn. Another place where development should happen is along the Bowery. Between, along the Bowery, between 6th Street and all the way down to Canal Street. Along that street is mostly flop houses. I mean, there's people suffering and living in those buildings that are pretty much, ri they're living in closets, folks. Paying $250 a month and a lot of, lot, of, lot of the people there in those buildings are not paying nothing because those buildings are totally illegal and basically the landlords want them out but in order for these people to get out and believe me these people do want to get out they're waiting for big buyouts from the landlords so they can go somewhere else and live normally where right now if they were to leave they'd be sleeping in the street people are suffering in these buildings so if these buildings are bought by developers the people there that are suffering living in these flop houses are bought out don't have money to live normally and that whole street really should be torn down and revitalized made to look like Dirt Avenue uptown. Hmm. Especially Bowling Grand. And that, that, that would be a very hot spot. That would be a very hot spot for developer would buy 125 Bowery, the building next door, the building next door over. That would be a very hot, that would be, I would say that's actually might be the hottest parcel in the area. That, that, that would that would be developed. Just imagine a seventeen story apartment building there. But like I said, like I said, brownstones, these turn of the century buildings and many and in Park Slope and a lot of areas like the Lower East Side, historic districts should be created where the buildings are all protected from development. Because this this is history, folks. New York is slowly and slowly losing its personality. New York is losing its history, little by little, and this history is what attracts tourists when they they want to see that when they come to New York, you know. These buildings are a tourist attraction. Lower East Side, that's where, that's where many, many immigrants or many nationalities started out.